So I'm going to be doing the unboxing for Goddess Provisions for November. And I ju literally just got this right now. I was going to get all ready for this, but I decided why. <laughs> I didn't feel like putting on makeup. I don't really feel like doing it. So let's just dig into this because I did get a sneak peek. Uh, before they posted on their Instagram about it. This is the Lightworkers box and I got the sneak peek of their of a lighter case and it's so interesting about that because this keeps happening almost every month. I really really want something and then somehow it ends up in the box. Don't know how that happened but I love it. Um, I've been wanting a really nice lighter case for uh, my altar and you know just having a nice lighter. I don't use it for anything other than turning on like candles or incense but I really wanted a nice one and when they did a sneak peek of that I almost died oh my god I just lost my sorry <laughs> distracted so I was very excited about that and now I just see some things in the box so let me just take some stuff out of the box without like, getting too excited <gasps> um because I want to get that card that's always at the bottom okay um, now in this video I probably won't post the pricing of everything as it's showing, so if you want to know the pricing info, just click below and all the information will be there. But this one is always a good time, I swear, always. Right now I'm working through um, a piece of a course with a coach that I'm working with, and we're working on our purpose, and also I have been working on my own certification to be a coach. And it's through a place called Life Purpose Institute. So the reason I bring that up, I'm not just like randomly plugging that. It's because card right here says soul plan. The faded life versus the destiny life. And it's just, it just really resonates with me. But before I go into that anymore, I want to show the artwork. It's really pretty. I love all of these colors. They're really, really pretty. And then the mantra for the month is... I am a being of love and light, raising the vibration of this planet. The cover and artwork from the new Starseed Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell and Daniel Noel. This is the mantra. Oh, I'm covering one of there. And you know, that's exactly what I want to do, honestly. I want to basically help people raise vibrations in whatever way that means for them. And so that trickles to as many people as they touch in their life. So, again, these boxes always come at a perfect time for me. Let's continue on. I already see something that I was about to buy that I'm glad it's in this box because, you know, who doesn't love that? So let's go one by one. So the first thing is socks, which I saw in the box. And I was like, oh, socks. A uh, great time. It's getting a little colder here and I've been wearing socks a little bit more. So let's look at these socks made with organic cotton. Looks like it's made by them. It has their logo, Goddess Provisions. I'm sure someone's going to complain of why do we get socks? You know what? I never get upset with a good pair of socks. So these have hearts, lightning bolts, moons, sun, kind of like cosmic-y type of loving socks. So they have purple at the heel and purple at the toes. So these are actually really cute. They also are just black on top of here. I don't think there's any, no, there's nothing. There's just black. So these are cute. Didn't think I would get, I smell something in here <laughs> in a good way, but I, something just like wafted at me. So let me continue. Next thing is, oh, I actually wanted one of these. I wanted an altar cloth and they gave an altar cloth. So let's see that. It's this one, I believe. Oh, it's so pretty. I'll read a little bit more about this. It's kind of like sticking together. This is the altar cloth. Now, if you have a big altar, obviously this is a little small, but I like how small it is actually because I can just put it in the middle of my altar. I probably won't put it now. I am going to be decorating it. Well, it's still kind of decorated for fall, so I don't know when I'm going to put it on there, but most likely spring maybe because these are brighter colors, so. But I really do like it. I like now I have this little option. And I can use it for other things too. So that's great. And then next is what I think I smell. I'm not sure, but I'll let you know. Um, this is the Inner Light 
Angel Aura um, soap bar? Crystal soap bar, yeah. And I was worried about that. So it does have glitter. See that? Let me get a little closer. It has glitter, but it says it's biodegradable glitter. It's the back of it. This is what I smell. Yeah, it was peppermint that I smelled. So this is peppermint based. Um, but it smells really good. Hmm. And it's really pretty. And I think that's a crystal right there. It's not a bubble. I don't know. On camera, it kind of looks like a bubble. But it's actually a crystal. I think. It, feels, it looks like a crystal when you look at it in person. I think it's just a clear quick. That smells really good though. The next, I was actually going to buy a bottle for myself because I've been wanting this. I've used this before in the past. But, um, I don't know. I was, I've been wanting to buy it. And I'm glad now I don't have to really buy it. Rose water. Now this is really good. Let's see what they say about it actually. Clear your auric field and lift your vibe with the spritz of this rose water made with Vortex H2O. It's so versatile, you can use it on your body, hair, or in a bath. I typically use it on my face and sometimes on my hair. Um, mm, smells so good. That's refreshing. I might keep it on my desk, actually, because um, sometimes I'm sitting here for a few hours now that I am coaching people and talking to a lot of people. Uh, and having this on my desk is a good little refresher, especially if I feel like I'm getting dehydrated with this bright light that's right in front of me. So next is the lighter case. Now there's this weird conversation happening on their Instagram about this case. Like, I don't know if people thought that this was the case. This is the packaging for the case. This is not the case. <laughs> um, so I don't exactly know what was going on with that conversation, but it's just a packaging, which is annoying to open, apparently. Oh, it's, it's a nice weight. So, obviously it doesn't come with the lighter. They said any standard, like, thick lighter would fit in here, which I don't have. I've been using, um, like, these type of lighters because I have long uh, candles. So, this obviously won't be for those long candles. I would still need this one. This one doesn't really have anything left. I should probably get rid of it. But, um, I can use this for, like, smaller candles and incense and whatever so on one side let's see if you can see that on one side is a sun and a rainbow and on the other side is a crescent moon and then a whole bunch of little moons I guess and it says shine light which could be shine your light or you know in any way you want to say that and on the side it has that type of design there's nothing on this side this side's plain but it's really pretty I don't particularly like gold things but this is a nice like kind of like rustic gold I don't know I'm strange but it's really pretty and I cannot wait to actually get a lighter to put into it this is the other thing which I may try right now uh this says it's a winter glow chocolate topped with mold wine crystals Read the back of it. Um, has like cinnamon, cardamom. Let's read the little insert about it. Winter Glow Chocolate Bar. Awaken all your senses by mindfully indulging in this organic chocolate bar made with a delightful mix of coconut. That might be wrong. Coconut, cardamom, orange, cranberry, and ginger. See if you can taste the love infused into each bite. Let's try this. I am not a fan of coconut, but sometimes it's just not, not too much coconut that will drive me crazy. It smells like peppermint <laughs> because of the soap. Okay. So this is what it looks like inside. I'm sure Jason may like this because he's been like begging for chocolate a lot. <laughs> you know, it, it says it's, it's 49 cacao, so it's not dark chocolate. It's vegan, but it's not dark chocolate. There's a lot of flavors happening there. If you just want me to get really quiet. There's a lot of flavors happening there. I don't taste coconut. Well, like a little. But not enough to be like, oh, it's coconut, because I don't like coconut. I will let Jason try this. 
but I think also I want to leave this on my desk because in the I know they say in Harry Potter but chocolate does help especially when you're like when you need to ground yourself a little bit I like how it feels. It feels like a very soft chocolate. It's not like a hard, dark chocolate bar because it doesn't say it is. But I don't know if I like the rest of this. It might just not be this type that I would like because it's mulled wine. I'm going to look into their other flavors because I like the feeling of this and I like that it's vegan and not like super dark chocolate. And I would say this is the last item in the box, but they do have like a digital item. So let me just go into the, I'll just say the digital item first so it is pillar of light meditation oh another meditation I've been wanting more meditations fill yourself with inner light by connecting to the ultimate supply of source energy this meditation will leave you feeling connected strengthened and blissed out and grounded I have been looking for a beginning of the day actually it really doesn't matter beginning middle maybe even end of the day but, but since this seems to be maybe energy wise I'll come back and talk about this I guess I did want a meditation to start my day or like in the middle of the day pick me up slash ground me meditation so I'm very delighted that they included that in the box last thing is aquamarine I don't actually have a small tumble of aquamarine I have a um organite pyramid but not a small aquamarine crystal and what goddess provision says about it is this crystal holds energy of water helping you stay in your flow works with it to tap into a calming vibe so you can see your path ahead with clarity hmm. i like this maybe when i'm doing some meditation or some Kind of clarity type work i can put it in one of my little cages i have here so in here i have a moonstone but i've been switching this out to whatever i feel like i need i don't know why i felt like i needed a moonstone today but it called to me so i grabbed it um but yeah so that's it that came in this box i would say what i looked forward to the most was this and I still think this might be my favorite but I am always always happy for crystals um I'm excited for this chocolate I just you know I kind of I would say in this box I got a mixture of things a good mixture of things that I was going to buy that I wanted to get but I didn't know where to look something I kind of needed socks you know always need socks I guess so I have some things I can definitely keep at my desk and then you know a little self-care thing Again, smells really good and another like middle self-care and yeah oh and the altar thing which is something else I, I did want I just don't think I would be using this in the next few months probably January or February I might pop it back out and use it but like I said all the information that you'll need is down below um, regarding how much everything was uh, how much you know everything included I guess was I think the most expensive thing in the box was this the box is $33 and this was $33 so this alone covered the box so I'm actually very happy with this uh, box this is the first time I actually got chocolate I think when I first signed up they were doing chocolate a little bit and I think it's because they tried to do the chocolate near the cooler months makes sense so it doesn't melt um, so this is the first time I, I think, I think this is the first time I got chocolate, but yeah, they, and then I just wanted to add that they have this other membership. It's called the moon wisdom membership. It's $11 a month and you get like this whole like PDF with information about the moon phases for that month. Um, little rituals you can do, uh, like this month they had a remembering people who passed ritual and they have, I think a cleansing one and a meditation I think it's two meditations but it's just very interesting so if you're interested in any type of moon the moon wisdom box is pretty good I mean it's not a box it's a membership um you don't get any physical item with it it's literally just the pdf some meditations and etc etc so I'm trying that out for a few months to see how much I like it and but so far I do 
yeah if you have any questions regarding this box or any of the past boxes that i posted uh any updates of what i have liked and what i've used just let me know down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can <laughs>